Mamu news, bringing you news all about Mamu. There's a lot to come up for co cover today, so I hope you guys will stay tuned. You'll want to watch till the end of the video. Let's do this. So Valentine's just passed. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way, everyone. Uh, Biel went on Biobo on the fan cafe, and she did a lot of talking. My younger sister is back. Now I shall go think of what to eat together with her. This is kind of like at the end of her uh, parade of messages. And she says it was Valentine's Day, right? Present. <laughs> Which I absolutely love. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Uh, sleep well. Meet, let's meet again. Good night. So that is that. Uh, Hwasa was also in Marie Claire Korea's March issue. Oh my goodness. And it was their 30th anniversary. So she took part in this little video clip here. Oh la la. My goodness. And uh, speaking of Hwasa, her final Hwasa show with Mama Moo as their, her guests as well with uh, Yoon Jung Shin and Cho Jung Chi. They made a hits songs medley for Mamamoo songs, which will be released on a soundtrack on music sites, and it's actually playing right now. So I'm missing out on it because I love you guys. Ha ha ha. <laughs> um, but yeah, they'll be reminiscing through their times during trainee days uh, from Huyin carrying her MP3 and laptop around to Mamamoo using Hwasa's messaging chat window as their memo note. Uh, so this is their final episode for Wasa show unfortunately i guess it wasn't a huge hit or something or maybe it was made to be 10 and Wasa was like 10 is enough <laughs> i've had enough but this isn't the end for Wasa and tvn she's going to be on another show with legendary artists uh the wandering dancing squad singing squad team is back kim one son Am Jung Hwa, Lee Hyori, Boa, and Hwasa. It's finally happening, you guys. With uh, Kim Tae Ho PD Nim. Uh, Wandering Dance Singer Squad is coming soon in the first half of 2023. So you can look forward to it very, very soon. It is going to be a reality. Oh my goodness. Uh, if you don't know who this uh, producer is, he was the NBC challenge. The, he's a PD for NBC Infinite Challenge and How Do You Play? Both uh, very, very successful shows, by the way. They're still. Infinite Challenge has ended, but a lot of people love that show a lot. And How Do You Play? Very hit TV show. So this should be perfection so basically this is where the whole squad uh queen squad is going to, gonna travel around korea to perform holding like maybe mini fan meeting concerts stuff like that uh we also have solar's uh midnight horror story video message she wasn't able to join this episode because she was in a concert in taiwan so this is just like her little video message in the that played in the episode. And CK Star, a uh, Singapore venue, says thank you, Moomoo's, for two sold-out shows with Mama Moo. The girls absolutely set the stage on fire with their killer vocals, sharp dance moves, and charming personalities. Thanks to the passionate cheers and love from everyone in the audience. Uh, so yeah, this is from Singapore. Beautiful pictures very excited yay i'm so glad so of course they are doing their asia world tour uh this was caught in the philippines in manila where they had to stop everyone because they wouldn't stop doing the wave <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Filipinos, they party hard. So, uh, because this was the last stop in the Asia tour, 
and it was February because it's Young Soon's birthday. Uh, the girls did this for her a little surprise. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like a little birthday cake. It's so cute. Huyen finally did it. She finally did it, you guys. Uh, little picture here. So that's all the freaking crowd. I'm so jealous. <laughs> uh, and here's all of their pictures at the concerts for Asia Tour. So jealous. I wish I could be there, but I'm broke. Speaking of solar, coming soon. She put this on her Instagram. A lot of people thought maybe it's related to a puppy because earlier she also posted this on her Instagram a couple days ago before that, uh, where this is Chang Sub from B2B, his dog and her dog and they had a little play date so they were like maybe it's a puppy toy um a lot of people th thought that they were gonna have a collaboration and Solishido would have like a i don't know a doggy play date video coming out but instead her parents it was a video of her giving a gift to her parents can I spoil it? Well, it's in the title. She gave gold to her parents, which is like two, 221 grams of gold to each parent. That's a lot of money. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Uh, it turns out it's actually for her birthday merchandise. I believe it's the ears. It looks a little pinkish and like white in the other um, story, but I uh, Instagram story, but I'm pretty sure it is the birthday merch. Young Gi, because she's a rabbit. You're the rabbit. She's a rabbit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, because she's the rabbit, right? And it's the year of the rabbit. Okay, anyways. You can buy this now, I do believe. Uh, just a little stuffed animal. And she promoted it on her Instagram uh, with funny little stories <laughs> i guess you can call this our weekly Mei Mei Mu, uh featuring solar or yonki who wants to go on a diet <laughs> yonki who wants to get up on the sofa it's so cute it's so freaking cute the girl who got yonki's attention Yonki, who wants to go to the washroom? <laughs> and then you cross the line. <laughs> Look at her chewing it up. That's my girl. I love it. Anyways. Uh, going back to, uh, I guess, more me, me, me. Filipino moves are just casually eating pizza while they wave. Uh... <laughs> bald-headed the solar during their concert which is absolutely amazing i love it i love the vibe and then solar found it out blurred their faces but posted on her instagram story saying i miss i love it this is like this is my dream just to <laughs> do something fun and then have my, one of the members, like, see it and notice me. That's it. They have reached my dream right here. So jealous. Uh, more about Solar, though. So she was actually mentioned on a TVN show called Free 19. They were talking about unexpected talents. Uh, their celebrities have... Solar was mentioned for her leadership qualities in Mamamoo and how she is able to keep a bright atmosphere even when filming music videos with her members, despite when they were all tired. Her bright personality makes her the mood maker, and they are all able to give a wonderful performance. 
Of course, uh, if you're a longtime fan, you kind of already know this, but uh, she has certifications in recreation, laughter therapy, and fun leadership. Hold on, let me drink some water. And now she was about to become a flight attendant in her university days, and then this was recommended by her professor to get certification and she was like oh yeah sure why not and then she did it and now she's amazing yay amazing this birthday girl uh but now there's more talk about solar and mamamoo i, I mean solar and moonbyo <laughs> maybe filming something getting ready to release something because they do have a break now Ready the clown, let's go. Uh, Ronnie, who is, I guess, a makeup artist, uh, posts a story with all of Young's stylist teams in a location that can be reminded is a filming set, perhaps. And then the director who worked on a bunch of Moonbyo's solo music videos and directed Ilala music video just posted this in his Instagram story, Myungbae. He's on a filming set. Perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. You know. You, it, it's a stretch. <laughs> like, this is their job. This is literally their job. They don't just work for Mamamoo, but... You know, I guess we don't really know. Uh, also, Moonbyo, speaking of her, she's actually going to join the judging panel for Peak Time. So JTBC's Peak Time, JTBC Girl, is joining. So JTBC's Peak Time is a show where uh, it's a survival competition show with male K-pop boy groups who have already debuted will be competing as teams for the chance to become the next worldwide idol group. Honestly, so I knew about this first because Jay Park is one of the judges and he tweeted about it and I was like, oh my God, that's cool. Whatever, I mean like another idol boy group survival program, meh. And then I saw Moonbyo was coming. <laughs> she is replacing Song Minho or Mino because he has military duties, I believe, so it conflicted his schedules, I guess. And they already like did shoots and stuff, but uh, yeah, she, she they already did like a interview as well. Um, but yeah, she'll be joining it. She wasn't there, but neither was he, so <laughs> it's fine. She's joining. I'm pretty excited. I don't know if it'll be subbed, hopefully. Most of the time, these aren't really subbed, but let's, pro let's hope. Cross our fingers, guys. And for the final big news that you've all been waiting for, Mama Moo, who successfully completed the Asia concert of their first world tour since their debut, MyCon, plans to continue meeting global fans through the Americas tour. Americas. So, uh, thank you, Jimin Kyung, for writing this article. But I do believe they will be hitting South America, North America, maybe even Canada. Who knows? But I really, really hope they come to Chicago. Like, I'm here, baby. I'm so ready. I got like six other friends that are willing to join me in the Mamamoo concert. I've been dreaming about this day. I need to see them, like, right there. You know, like, I went to Germany for a 20-minute concert for Mamamoo for two days. That was wonderful, a wonderful time. But a three-hour concert of just Mamamoo with skits. <laughs> that would be amazing, you guys. So I'm super, super, super stoked. If you guys are going, please let me know. Um, I'm, like pretty tempted to just follow them around America, but we'll have to see. <sighs> I doubt it will happen, because tickets are so expensive. 
but we are, we will see. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, that's it for today's news. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching the nine o'clock news that never starts at nine. Good night and good news. Bye.